Welcome back, guys. We're Cheap and Nerdy. I'm Brian. I'm Brittany. And we bought from someone that we said we would not probably buy too much from again. Um, but they had another set of their mystery boxes where it was one pop, 20 bucks, and they didn't include their own exclusives. Oh, that just gave it away. It's so, chalice. Yeah. Last time we did this, it was pretty decent. It wasn't bad at all. Um, so we figured, why not? We'll give them another shot. We haven't bought any six pop boxes or anything like that. Um, probably in, oof, it's been a while. I don't know if there's been any. I, I don't either. I haven't paid too much attention. I just happened to see this one and was like, what do you think? And I immediately looked to see if they were including their own exclusives. Yep. And they weren't. So I was so like, meh, okay. We, we bought four of them. Yep. So we figure we'll do this battle style. And I will beat his ass. So I don't remember what it was. I think it was like $96 with shipping. Something like that. Because the shipping's coming all the way from the West Coast. And they use FedEx. So They should be in little individual chalice sorters. We will find so. out momentarily. Yep, there are chalice sorters inside. Yep, so no battle of the bubble wrap between Brian and the box. So this is what I mean by the little chalice sorters. Which also makes it good because I don't have to put pops back inside this box. Nope. So, yeah. So we have four. Let's take guesses. I'm going to guess that I have at least one special edition sticker. I bet there is at least one Sailor Moon pop. You think? This is an epic. What's your point? Oh, okay. Pretty sure Chalice is the one who uh, grabbed all of those. Oh, yeah. And Chrono was the one that was selling the fake ones, right? I can't remember. I think it was Chrono. Something like that. Maybe it was Chalice. Hmm. I don't remember. Nope. Okay, so one special edition sticker. Yep. Probably something that was a Chase Roulette but not the chase version of it. Yeah, there's gonna be a hot topic, I think. Yeah. There could be a hot topic. And definitely a convention shared. Yeah. Of some sort. That's way too much, but we're at least like covering most all bases. Yep, okay. <laughs> so, I will get started. I'm gonna look before I show anybody else. Oh, I just hit one right off the bat. I win, I'm winning. What, what, what would that be? It's a shared sticker. It's a shared sticker. Yes. So it's a convention. Yes. Okay. Um, what color is the box? Green. Yoda. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so it is the shared, I think it was shared at Target? Uh, yeah. Um, Yoda? I believe it was Target. Oh. There it goes. Uh, spring convention exclusive from 2021. Brian actually needs this pop. So. I, I do. We were actually just talking about that the other day. So there you go. Got a keeper. Cool. All right. So which one do I go with here? This one or this one? This one? Okay. <laughs> I was right. Hot topic? Negative. Oh. Sailor Man? Yes, it is. <laughs> with the itty bitty special edition sticker. Wow, that is itty bitty. We gotta make sure this is real, guys, because it's not focusing. I have honestly never seen a special edition sticker that tiny. Yeah. Um, it looks real. It is stamped uh, 20 on the bottom. Yeah, it's Sailor Moon and Luna. So. Brian was showing the sticker instead of the pop. Move your face, there you go. Um, no yeah. idea what this one is potentially valued at or anything, so. With Moonstick and Luna. So this is actually different than the one we sent to Kiwi Cup Bowl. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I know. My next one and my last one is also a special edition sticker. Is it also a Sailor Moon pup? Nope. Okay. But this it guy is signing pops right now. Stone Cold? Yep. Interesting. Is it the 7-Eleven one? Probably. All right. All right. 
So, I mean, not a keeper. Not a keeper. You can... Not a keeper. What? Not a keeper. What? Not a keeper. What? She knows nothing about wrestling. I know about Stone Cold. Still not keeping it. You can kiss my ass. Whatever. All right. So. Last pop. Yeah. Might as well be one of their friggin' exclusives. What is it? A special edition of their exclusive? I don't think this. This was their exclusive. I'm pretty sure this was a box lunch exclusive. I mean, now that I see this pop, though, it is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Want to show it? Yeah. Why do these pops look fake? Look at the print, like the printing. It looks weird, doesn't it? I don't know. That almost looks like a picture of the pop. No, yeah, it's weird. And then look at the shadowing and stuff on there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And that? Yeah. I'm going to have to take a look because this is different. I don't know. And the background's different than every Dragon Ball, but it is Dragon Ball Z Super, so I don't know. Um, it is <laughs> Super Saiyan, uh, ow, Kefla. Move your face. And I don't know if you guys can see what we're talking about, but there's like shadowing and stuff on the pop, on the box. Look at the the top. It just, something just doesn't seem right with this. Yeah, I don't, it looks weird. I don't own the pop, so I can't go, you know, grab it and look, but I don't know why someone would fake this pop, to be honest with you. It's probably not. They've been doing that with a lot more pops where it looks more like a picture of the pop instead of an animation. Like, like see that. how that's a drawing? That's because they didn't redo the box on that one. And now the new ones all look like a picture, I wish, there we go, of the pop versus a drawing. Yes, I said drawing. It just looks really weird. Yeah, but... Um, but Kefla, so... I guess we'll get values. Yeah, let's grab values. There it is. So, so... I'm probably gonna have to use PPG for this Yoda. That was GameStop, and it looks oh. like... Oh, it's 21. It's got it divided on the Funko app. So, the box does show yeah. The shadowing and stuff. Yeah, it's probably real. So, it's it's real. It was GameStop shared um, for the uh, Kefla. Yoda shared is 21. So, just barely over what we paid for the box. This was originally shared with Hot Topic. Or, hold on. I'm going to see if it's got a special edition on PPG. Yeah, you're going to have to do that with this one, too. Okay. So, for Sailor Moon, it has not split yet. So, $34. All right. And that is Stone Cold, two sub variants. Nope. Is he metallic? Well, the only two variants are him and a signed one at seven bucks a pop. So he's 33. 33. So what? We had 33 and 15. What'd you have for Sailor Moon? Well, no, I don't remember. <laughs> 24, I think? 34. 34 for and Sailor And 21 for Yoda. 21 for Yoda. It's $103. So. It covers the shipping. Um, two keepers. Yeah. No, one keeper. Ryan's being a shit. Oh, okay. Two keepers. I thought he was talking about Stone Cold again. Because I, I have neither of them, and I didn't... I mean, I'm. that's a cool Dragon Ball pop. That's one I l would like to keep. I didn't know how good this pop would actually look. So, pretty cool. Uh, I've been very weird about my Dragon Ball collection. About what I actually want to keep and what I don't want to keep. That's one that I'll keep because it looks pretty cool. Yeah. We got rid of all the Vidal's and Chi Chi's. Uh, all, <laughs> all the stupid commons, yes, we got rid of those. Um, but I would like to keep Stone Cold, but sounds like I'm not. And Sailor Moon will definitely go somewhere. Yes. Yeah, because there were two different Sailor Moons. The Sail Sailor Moon and Luna and Sailor Moon with Moonstick and Luna, which, like you said, is mm -hmm. different. So, like I said, it's different. I don't know. I'll let you. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, hit a little, nope, nope, hit a like or dislike, and then leave a comment down below. Yes. You good? Yep. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back and see us again. Don't forget, be kind. Rewind. Bye, guys. Bye.